Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the Lawbringer rework. It is officially here. And uh, just like the title said, there is, there, there's a bug, I'm assuming. I, I know this is not intended. Uh, but it gives him a 38 damage light parry punish, which is like free CCU almost, like, which is forever ago. This is a lot of damage and I know this is not intended. Um, we'll get into that here in a little bit, but I'm going to go over pretty much everything on this rework that I've found so far. Um, I've done it. It's different from all the ones we've had so far. So the triple light chain he had, that's no longer here. There's not a ton of light spam. Um, he kept his enhanced lights. So you'll still see that. Um, it, it's neat, but essentially all his chains are the same. Okay. They didn't add any new chains except for one instance, which I'll show you guys in a bit. So you can still do like heavy, quick top light, unblockable finisher. Top unblockable, everything like that. He's got all of that the same. Uh, the only new chain they added is if you get the little extra confirmed light, you can do a light finisher after it. Um, it's the only new one that I've seen. It's interesting, and that works on the light parry punish as well. Um, so if you get the light parry punish, you can do that. It doesn't seem to work on the unblockable finisher though. So if you do this one and do a light, I oh, was just kidding. I lied. It does work on that one. Something doesn't work on that one. I forgot what it was. But it does work on that one. Um, it's very interesting. This this rework was interesting. They kept some stuff, and not everything is documented. Like it's it's bizarre. But maybe it was this one that you couldn't do the extra light on. Just kidding. You can. Well, strike that. I was mistaken on that part. But there's one thing specifically that is kind of broken. Um, actually, real quick, let me go ahead and mention this. The impale is not guaranteed on heavy parries anymore. Only light parries. And on light parries, it is guaranteed. You won't have any issues there. You're not really going to be doing it very much, except if there's a ledge behind them, because there's no reason to. You can do this, which also chains back into your finishers, by the way. Every time you get an extra little tap, it's going to chain back into your finishers, which can be a light finisher. It can be an unblockable, whatever. You just can't chain into a shove after, uh, after the confirmed light. We'll just go back to neutral here so that's that now let me go ahead and show you guys what i was talking about why is she still attacking me i could have <laughs> i could have sworn i took it off light um so here's the issue guys after your top unblockable light parry you get a very 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 quick bash and this is not intended and i've tested this already with somebody it's not dodgeable. That is not dodgeable. That's 25 damage plus 13. For 38 total. My light parry sucks today. Which is gross. And it goes straight into this. Which you cannot be lighted out of, by the way. It's fast enough to where you don't get lighted out of it. To me, you don't delay it. And this is, this is going to be a huge problem. Because the reason they... The reason they nerfed the parry to begin with the impale is because too much damage on his parry punishes and now he gets 38 they're gonna patch this i got a feeling they're gonna patch this like next week is my guess because 38 on a on a parry is freaking disgusting that goes back into his unblockable by the way plus it's a bash as well it's it's just gross uh one other thing i do want to mention by the way if you do your light parry like your unblockable but you did it on like a heavy attack so they can dodge it you can actually still chain on whiff that's a new feature you couldn't do that before and right now if they dodge it they'll eat the shove unless they did like a dodge attack or something which again i will probably add some delay after this it's interesting though it's it's really interesting that they, they did that and you can just do a chain hyper armor as well so if they do dodging over dodge attack boom hyper armor now the long arm is now actually safe. So if you do hit it, you get a heavy on any side. I think the top heavy is the fastest currently. Uh, it's weird. They made the top heavy faster specifically, I guess, for ganking scenarios. That's you'd probably be using the top heavy soon to hit teammates, but it doesn't really matter. It's the same punish either way. Now I will say it's unsafe afterwards if you go for your unblockable finisher. Um, if you go for a light tap after, you're safe. The enemy cannot. Cannot light you out of your recovery after that. So I'll show you this. So if I do this, 
Hit him with my heavy and the light and then go for this. I'll just light you out of it. But light finisher tap. They can't light you out of it. Now, you could always just not throw the extra tap if you wanted to. You could just long arm and go for, like, pressure. Like that. You know, do whatever you want. Uh, as far as the parries go and stuff like that, uh, parry punishes changed a little bit. You no longer have any blind, by the way, on anything. No blind, no stamina damage, nothing like that. Uh, but for parries specifically, if you do like a quick tap, it does 12 damage, which is not very high, but it goes straight into your finishers. And you still go into an extra little tap after. So honestly, for a light attack, or not for a light attack, for a heavy parry, your optimal punish is probably a zone, because it does give you the most chain options. But if you want to go straight into your finisher, you can do that as well. One other thing to mention, guys, is unblockable top finisher. It uh, does have a soft feint to guard break, so you don't have to... You don't have to press... What you might call it to do it. You don't have to press B. Or circle, or... Whatever button is your faint. This is only on top. So if you go for like a side heavy, you still have to faint normally. So really, in, in duels, you're going to always go on top. There's no reason not to. And it does still chain into itself because that extra little tap restarts your chain. So you could technically kill somebody by doing this over and over. Probably not going to hit them all, but if you do, it's going to be hilarious. Now he does get hyper armor on his chain attacks now. Beforehand, he did not. And it's only on his second heavy and chain. His third heavy does not get it because it's already a big unblockable, so they didn't want to make it hyper armored as well. So it makes sense. And you can do that off the uh, zone as well. The zone now chains, which is nice. And the stamina cost has been drastically reduced. So I think it's 30 instead of 60. That's what they said on Warrior's Den. Uh, let me turn my stamina on so y'all can see it. It looks like 30 to me. Yep. So 30. And you can do that if they try to punish it. Now, you can no longer, like, just stop chaining and get a quick parry off, like, a full guard. You could do that before. Can't do that anymore. They're kind of taking that away with some reworks. They did it with Shaolin. Um, I'm sure other people that have fast recovery zones are going to eventually get those taken away because they're aware of it now, so they're going to be taking that away. But, but yeah, so that's how it is. It's pretty cool, actually. You could probably use it for some whiff tech, get right out of range, and just throw that. And that'll be a nice little, nice little maneuver. Impale still the same, nothing's changed there. I will say your wall spy damage is going to be a little bit less. Because you'll get your heavy. But that little extra tap is only going to be one damage because of the weird wall splat reduction. The so most you're going to get like 22 damage with your wall splat. Counting like the impale damage itself. One other minor thing I did notice they removed. Uh, Lawbringer had like a little forward dodge like attack cancel thing. Where if you dodged forward shortly after dodging forward. You could like throw an attack. And it would kind of cancel your dodge forward recovery. They removed that. Which, I'm not really sure why. I didn't think that was a bad feature. Um, in the original testing grounds, they had it in the move set as well. Yeah, right here. Forward dodge startup can be canceled by any opener. I don't know if they forgot to include that. Or what the case is. But it's not there anymore. You can still do forward dodge shove. But the cancel does not seem to be there anymore. So, I don't know if that's a bug. Or what, but I think they just left it out. So, devs, if you're watching this, that forward dodge is not canceled. You just basically stop anyways. Even the zone is slower now. You could the zone used to get it pretty quick. You just kind of dodge forward and throw it. So now that's not even there. So you already didn't have a roll catch. Now you literally have no chance of catching somebody if they roll, like at all. You already did much before, but now you're really not gonna catch anybody. I will say, out of stand punish, it is gonna be a little bit weaker. Because you're going to be doing this. You still get three hits, though, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure on that. I think you still get three hits, though. So, out of stand punish, you still get two heavies and a light. It's not going to be safe because your opponent gets up, but if you need to finish them off, that is a 60 damage out of stamina punish. Still pretty gross. I think that's still the highest in the game. So, we still kept our out of stand punish, guys. It's not as strong as it was, but it's, it's still pretty good. It, it only got nerfed by, like, five damage, I think, so... Yeah, you get somebody out of stam. I mean, it's their fault for being out of stam anyways, but you got pretty decent out of stam pressure. So, yeah, have fun with it. And guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if y'all have any other questions about Lawbringer, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Either me or another Lawbringer uh, connoisseur 
or whatever you would call a fan, a, a masochist like me. Uh, we will we will help answer your questions. If there's something I missed, let me know. The 38 damage punish, gotta go. It's gotta go. It's busted. <laughs> it's absolutely busted. Um, I'll probably have a video out later today doing some duels with him. Um, and I'll be streaming later today too. So if y'all want to, go check me out at twitch.tv slash Link in the description. Guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Catch you in the next video.